this tuna it looks much, very much the same as this tuna. Thomas Farmer, who's been selling fish at Fins and Tails for decades, knows firsthand it's a tricky business. Fish is still a wild animal, and so there's all kinds of problems and, uh, and issues dealing with fish that you don't have with any other kind of protein source. But are you always getting what you ask for? Oceana and International Ocean Conservation Group tested fish from 674 retail outlets across the country and found a third of it mislabeled. To make sure you get what you paid for, Farmer says know the person who's selling you your fish and ask them questions. You're supposed to know where your fish is coming from. I mean, that's part of, uh, you know, part of the process. And uh, if they don't really know where it comes from, then I would say that would also send up a red flag. Another tip, buy your fish with the skin on, usually a good indicator you're getting the real thing. A common mislabeling is representing farm-raised salmon as wild salmon, since purveyors can usually get more money for wild salmon. It's considered to be more nutritious and environmentally friendly. But a good indicator is there's a specific season for wild salmon. It's from April to September. So if you're buying your wild salmon in December, that's a red flag. But Farmer says mislabeling is almost part of the business because there are so many different names for fish depending on where it's being sold. You get mahi-mahi in Hawaii and that's what they call it, but you get it in, uh, in, uh, in North Carolina and they call it dolphin. But to be sure the fish on your dinner plate is fresh, ask the person behind the counter where it came from. And if the price seems fishy or too good to be true, then it probably is. Reporting in Syracuse, I'm Dora Scheidel.